Hey what's up people this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Arch Linux with minimal KDE Plasma desktop so let's get started. So first thing we need to make sure is that we are connected to the internet so if you are using ethernet connection then you are already good to go but if you are using Wi-Fi connection then I'll show some commands on the screen so that you can connect to the Wi-Fi network using these commands. So after that you need to sync the time clock. So type time date CTL set dash NTP true to sync your time. I'll also leave all the commands required to install Arch Linux in the description box. So please check the description box. After that type fdisk dash L to see your device storage block number. In my case it is slash dev slash sta. But if you are using SSD it might be slash dev slash NVMe. Now type cfdisk slash dev slash sta to modify or create partitions. Select the free space and create a new partition of 500 megabyte as EFI system partition. Now use rest of the free space as Linux file system for root partition. You can also create swap partition if you want but it is totally optional. After that you need to select write and type yes and then quit the cfdisk partition. Here keep the block number nodes of your partitions. Here slash dev slash sta1 is my boot partition and slash dev slash sta2 is my root partition so please make a note of that yours may be different. Now type mkfs.fat-f32 slash your EFI partition block number to create a EFI partition. Now we are going to format our root partition as ext4 so type mkfs.ext4 slash your root partition block number. Now we need to mount our root partition so type mount your root partition block number and slash mnt. Now we need to create a boot directory to mount our EFI partition so type mkdir slash mnt slash boot. Now we need to mount our EFI partition to that boot directory so type mount and your EFI partition block number and then slash mnt slash boot. Now we need to install base arch linux system so type the commands in the screen or you can also find the commands in the description box below. Now we need to generate fstab file using the following command. Now enter the following command to go to our installation. Now we are going to set our language and our local time. So Please follow my steps and use the commands which are shown on the screen.
now we are going to install some packages for our network Now type sudo systemctl enable network manager to enable internet access after rebooting. Now we are going to create a root password and also create a new user. Now we are going to install grub bootloader so just follow my commands. After installing bootloader, you can reboot to check if the bootloader is installed correctly. Now we are going to install our display drivers so type sudo pacman-s xor and xf86-video- and if you are using intel graphics card then use intel if you are using integrated amd gpu then type amd or if you are in a virtual machine or vmware then type vmware Now we are going to install sound drivers so type sudo pacman-s pulse audio and pulse audio ulsa Now we are going to install 
KDE Plasma Desktop. So type the following commands to install the desktop. After that type sudo systemctl enable sddm Congratulations, you have successfully installed minimal KDE Plasma desktop. If you go into applications, you can see that there are very few applications installed compared to other distributions with KDE. So thank you for watching guys. I hope you like my video and also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.